Artist trading cards can be used for a lot of different things. Maybe you're just practicing a new process. Let me show you some examples. So on this one, we have some metal tooling and we're trying a new process where we make the metal three-dimensional. It's low relief. So just trying that skill, here is something called uh, latch hook. Latch hook, and it's also 3D, three-dimensional. Maybe you're trying some printmaking. Okay, so you can be practicing a new process. Another thing that you might be practicing is a new skill. So, for example, this is an artist working on their colored pencil, blending, showing a form. This is an artist working on op art. So just practicing something new, a new skill. Maybe your artist trading card is telling us a story. So, for example, this one uh, was given to us to talk about the Day of the Dead. So you can see that they're, ta they're showing us some symbols and a skull from the Day of the Dead. This artist trading card was a request of myself. This was traded from one of my students. Um, and it was to, t to get to know my students when they were coming back from uh, summer break. So what did you do over the summer? Another reason that an artist trading card might be created is just working on composition. So here's another example of composition and we're using low relief um, objects and spraying it. So just kind of working on a composition, maybe just to practice composition or maybe for a larger project later on. And here's another one. And what I really love about this one, the composition is not only in the front, but they brought that information onto the back as well. So, artist trading cards can be used to explain a process or practice a pro uh, process, try a new skill, it can tell a story, or it can be working on composition.